Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Cider Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. Very excited for tonight's episode. So for this review and the one that's going to be following this review, um, they're basically not just like two of, I think, Sam Adams' best beers, but two of my favorite beers, honestly, of all time. The first review is going to be Samuel Adams' Oktoberfest. This is 5.3% alcohol by volume. This has been around a really long time. Classic Samuel Adams bottle. It has the, the IBUs disclosed on here, which a lot of most brewers don't do. So it makes it a lot easier for the drinker to know. And on the back it says Oktoberfest. Malt brings so much to a great beer. That's why we've developed a unique malt blend to provide a robust color and smooth, rich flavor like you. We look forward to this tradition every year. Jim Cook, founder and brewer. Has a little on the side of the bottle here. It says when it's good until... And it looks like this is good until February of 2023. This is a Mertzen. Um I've said this in other, you know, reviews when I review Meritsons, but when you go to True Oktoberfest in Munich, usually it's going to be what they're going to be serving as Fest beer, which is a lighter beer than this Meritsen, and it's also a higher ABV. It's not going to be like the car caramel color that we see in a lot of the American Meritsons at the True Oktoberfest. Um, and you know, I've reviewed, this is the third batch I've reviewed on my channel, and I've always scored it really highly. Beer Advocate gives it 83 out of 100. I gave it in 2020 a 94, in 2021 a 93. So let's see what 2022 brings for my score. In general, I feel like Samuel Adams, their strongest seasonal beers in my opinion, are fall and winter. Okay, spring will probably be next and then summer. I enjoy all Samuel Adams beers, but especially the fall and winter ones. Actually got this in the fall variety pack. I think it might be called Sweather Weather. And it has the Fest beer that they had last year, the Oktoberfest, the Jacko, and the Boston Lager, their flagship beer. So let's go in for the review. Um, I have my Samuel Adams Meritson glass for this one. Okay, sometimes on the cap they say, there's a little message, oh, okay, it says cheers on it. This came out, I want to say a couple weeks ago, usually you can find it uh, beginning of August, if not late uh, July, we got it around here, I want to say August 25th or so, in Woburn, Massachusetts, in the area, it's going for the pour. Can I already tell it's kind of a caramel color, copperish, if you will. Really nice looking beer, guys. Um, the head is kind of a khaki, tan color head, kind of a light caramel color. It's about about three fingers worth. And really, really kind of a dark, deep copper color. Um, yeah, it looks like a caramel type color. I guess you can say a little bit of ruby in there, but like dark, dark orange copper it looks like a beautiful fall color just reminds me of fall it's starting to cool down in massachusetts the last week or so it's been you know we've had days where it's 50s in the morning fall is on its way can already kind of smell the caramel let's go in for the aroma yeah it's definitely malty again that caramel aroma some sweetness roastiness as well a toastiness a touch of hops, but this beer is more malt forward. It's got a good amount of sweetness to it. Kind of like a dark grain as well to the aroma. Smells very good. Clean water in there as well. Without further ado, oh, head retention has pretty much died down still a little bit there. Oh, and let me just talk about the bubbles real quick. Good amount of bubbles, semi crisp beer. You can see the bubbles kind of streaming up to the surface. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Without further ado, salute. So, one thing I'm noticing, just from memory from last year, is that it's a little bit more... Um, but there's a little bit more of a roastiness in there, like a like a roasted barley malt type of flavor. 
but there's definitely caramel in there as well. It kind of falls in the back end. There's some sweetness, kind of like a dark rye bread or kind of like a dark bread in there. Picking up maybe a touch of vanilla as well. Um, the mouthfeel. I'll say mouthfeel is the lower end of medium. It's a tad bit on a little bit of wateriness there, but not a lot. Not enough to, by any means to make it a bad beer. I'm enjoying it quite a bit, to be honest with you. A little bit of wateriness there, though. Back end is semi dry finish. Yeah, but predominantly that caramel, like I was saying, kind of like a, a biscuity type of flavor as well, like a dark bread, dark rye bread. Getting some sort of sweet, um, like a toffee, I want to say, maybe even a slight bit of uh, vanilla in there. Super great fall beer, um, very sessionable, 5.3%. This would be great by a campfire, you know, picking apples, whatever, pumpkin picking. This is just a great fall beer. Um, I really enjoy the fall and winter beers from Sam Adams. I still have a couple winter lagers from last year that I've been saving because I enjoy, I enjoy them so, so much. Um, For a score, it's really good. This year, I'm going with a 9 out of 10 or a 90 out of 100. Slightly lower than I did in previous years. Um, like I said, 94 in 2020 I gave it, 2021 a 93. I'll go with 90 this year, but very good. I highly recommend it. I probably will get, you know, I only got this in the variety pack. Well, I did get a six-pack of bottles as well, but I'll definitely get another case before the, before the fall season ends. One of my favorite all-time beers, honestly. Samuel Adams, Boston Beer Company out of Boston, Massachusetts. Again, this is the, the Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. Hope everyone is doing okay. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, take care, and I'll see you next time. Salute.